violas and violin threes, here's your practice video for Down and Yon Forest. Um, it looks more complicated, sounds more complicated than it actually is. You're going to have the same melody repeated a couple times, and it's always going to have that same rhythm. So, 6 8 time, two flats and a key signature. Um, and you're just doing these little scales up and down. So, the counting for the first measure one and a two, one, two, and three, four, five, six. So, pretty easy. Then the second measure, measure four. One and two, three, four, five, six. So nothing too crazy. Uh, so let's do um, the first four measures here, and then I'm going to stop in measure seven and show you the third position shift. Uh, so here we go. Here's measures three through six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> So the same thing two times in a row. Now here's measure seven. You do the same scale going up. But now instead of a three, shift up, put your one there instead. Three. And then this is a low two because it's an E flat. Come back to first position. So measure seven and eight will sound like this. So just a tiny little bit of shifting, no big deal. Uh, violins who are doing the violin three part, obviously you don't have to shift, you're just going to the E string. Uh, be careful of the low ones. Notice there's B flats the entire time. Make sure you're staying in that G minor key. All right, so now we're at 11. Uh, the section will be playing the bottom dotted quarter note, so you're just going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then here's the top solo part. All right, so here's 11, the solo line. One, two, three. going from 14 to 15, there's that tie. Let's go back to that for a quick second. So 14 to 15, one, two, and. Okay, so just holding over the bar. All right, and then this is the same part, 20 is the same part as the beginning, including that shift to third position. So here's 20, everybody comes back together uh, in unison. One, two, and. And now it says soli, but it's still the entire section. You just have a very important part there, a section solo. Here's 28. One, two, and. One, two. Uh, back at 33, hopefully you caught that rhythm, and there's an F sharp accidental, an E natural accidental. So it sounds kind of major for a minute going there. And then top of the second page, not a big deal, just added quarters again. And at 52, um, it's similar to over at 11, but now we're in a new key. You lose your flats, no more B flat or E flat. Uh, so let's take it at 52 now. One, two, and. Two, three.
pretty self-explanatory after that. Uh, be careful at 78. You're going from a 1 to a low one for G sharp. And then 3. One more time until the ending. Um, right, so way back at 52, if you don't like that sound of those open A's, which really isn't that nice, uh, try playing this in third position. So you can play a 2, and then a nice high 3 for your B. be a three over there on the G string. So talk to me if you want some help on that. That'd make that section sound a lot nicer if we're not doing open A's. All right, so see me if you have any questions about rhythms, counting, um, and then just play those sections out because that's a, a really important part to the piece.